What's up YouTube? Another DIY project here. I'm gonna go ahead and add more tie down locations to my 2011 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, uh, let me show you, they only give you a few tie down locations. It makes it very difficult to tie anything down that's very heavy. So let me show you what they offer you first. So they come with these little tie down locations, one right there, and then one right, th one right there at the very end of the tailgate area. And then they have these little flimsy little movable tie down air locations, but they fit in this rail right here. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can't tie down very much anything with that. Uh, you get four of them and you can move them up and down the rail here, or you can move them up and down the rail on the front side. Those are nice and dandy, but at the end of the day, it doesn't provide you anything. That if you're gonna tie down anything super heavy, it doesn't really provide you much safety and comfort. So what we're gonna do is add these. So I ordered six uh, tie down locations, or tie down hoops from a military website. I think it's a military surplus website. Um, unfortunately, one of them came in a different color. There wasn't a color option. Um, so just so you're aware, if you order from the link below, you might get a darker one in your mix. I ordered six because there are six locations for or six bolts that hold my bed to the frame so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to replace pull the bed bolt out and then put those underneath and they're just perfect size for the toyota tacoma so if you have a toyota tacoma 2011 to probably 20 probably till now at least they will fit um these came with the truck from the factory uh they're pretty sturdy but i think with with this and through the bed bolt you'll be a lot sturdier so what you'll need is you're going to need a kind of a, a hex head socket to t55 now this isn't an impact socket um, but right now i don't have one and i'm going to use an impact to, to remove these bolts because i've already tried using a ratchet and let's be honest these have been in there it's 2018 right now and i've got 128,000 miles in my truck and i'm really worried about trying to strip them by if I just I'm worried about it getting coming coming loose off of this so I'm gonna go ahead and just buzz them loose with an impact and uh, if you don't have an impact hopefully you have like a breakover bar and a helper or maybe hopefully yours aren't as tight as mine so let's get started So as you can see here, you got the washer and then you got the bolt. So you want to get the washer out of the, out of the way. So that way you can have the washer. See, as you can see, you won't be able to put the washer down with it. You'll probably, what I'll probably do is I'll put the washer underneath this. So what I have to do is remove the washer from the bolt head. So what I have to do is get a socket that's big enough over the head and then since there's no threads down here, we'll be good to pound it I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pound it a little bit um, and it should come free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and took a socket that's bigger than the head. I'm gonna pound it down just a little bit. I think it just has to go over this little bit, this threshold here. Not a big deal. So I'm gonna pound it on a piece of two by four so that way it's not taking the blunt. Well that laughed at me. There's probably better ways of doing this obviously but this is my DIY hack. <laughs> so I noticed one thing you wobble back and forth, it comes out easier. Now you gotta be very careful because there are some metal shavings that you just created. So watch your finger. But now that we got this loose, we will uh, get it on the bed. Okay, so one thing I noticed is I can't get the thread started because this does not allow it. So what I'm going to have to do is pound this, either not use this washer, and just use this, which I can, and just uh, omit that washer, 
or I can pound this on back onto this, or actually on below this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out. Try to get it started by hand. Good. So we're gonna get it. So it did move on us a little bit. I would not recommend holding on to this while you impact it on. But you can probably, I can probably loosen this up and kind of angle a little bit towards myself. That way it goes a little bit when it moves. So there you go. I'll remove the tag, but there you go. Now what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna take the rest of them and put them all on the bed bolts one by one. I would recommend doing it one by one, um, just so it doesn't move. So hopefully this uh, gave you an idea of what to do for your tie downs, add tie down locations for your truck. Uh, if you have any ideas that you did with your truck, go ahead and link them down below in the description or explain it so others uh, can use make use of that. Other than that, uh, be sure to subscribe for other videos like this and hit that like button and I'll see you next time. I think it's worth noting that when I was undoing some of the bolts to the bed, uh, the middle two look like they're corroded on the actual shaft itself. Uh, I don't feel comfortable banging on those bolts. I probably will order new ones from the factory, just two of them, probably about 10 bucks a piece. Um, and then also, when I was thinking, when I was doing this, is if you wanna put the washers back in there as well, you could easily go to the hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, Ace Hardware, whatever, and just take the bolt with you or uh, measure the bolt or the washer to or take the washer with you and then get one with a little bit bigger diameter hole um, and just make sure that the outside of the washer is as large if not maybe a little bit bigger than previously.